Alex and welcome once again to Prophecy Update, where we look at current events in the light of Bible prophecy. My name is Bob Mitchell. I'll be with you for the next few minutes. The message we have today is urgent. I want to ask you, my friend, are you a Christian? Because time is running out. Jesus Christ predicted the very days you are living in right now, right at this time. He predicted them. So did the prophets in the Old Testament. So did the apostles and prophets in the New Testament. You are living in those days that were predicted for the end times, just before the rise of Antichrist and the return of Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ as your Saviour? Now is the time to turn. If you are not a Christian, please listen to this message I have for you coming up right now. If you are not a Christian, these days are very, very dangerous for you because it means Jesus Christ is returning soon in judgment. Not as a baby. Many people say, oh, if Jesus comes back, they'll crucify him again. That is not true. When Jesus returns, he's coming from heaven in fiery judgment, and he will collect his church and take us out of here. You do not want to be here when judgment falls on the earth. And there is a way to escape. I'm going to talk to you about Jesus Christ and his death on the cross and what it can mean for you today. When Jesus Christ died on the cross 2,000 years ago, he willingly took from God the punishment for your rebellion, the punishment for your sins. The Bible says, how shall we escape? if we neglect so great a salvation. It also warns that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I don't want you to fall into the hands of the living God that way. I want you to know Jesus Christ and his forgiveness. To neglect God's offer of forgiveness is to spit in the face of his son Jesus and say, I don't need your forgiveness. I don't need Jesus to take my place. To do that, my friend, is the most foolish, rebellious, wicked thing you can do. For in doing so, you sign your own sentence. You sentence yourself to spend eternity paying for your own rebellion in a fearful place the Bible calls the lake of fire. Now, you can laugh at this now. You can sneer. You can say that'll never happen. 
my friend, prophecy is coming true. And it will happen as sure as the sun rose today. You have an appointment with God. And no matter what you say, no matter how you laugh or you disbelieve me, you will be there. You will be there in the court of God where you will be sentenced for all eternity. But the Bible says, today is the day of salvation. Friend, now is the moment for you to leave the past behind. Come to Christ for new life. He waits for you with open arms to receive you, to hear you say to him, forgive me and change me. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Now, look, I'm going to pray a short prayer. It isn't magic. It's a simple way to help you if you've never prayed or you don't know what to say. Do you know, prayer is simply talking to God, being honest with him. So as I pray, if you really want to become a Christian, to become a new creature, to have a new life, to have your past forgiven and to follow him from this day on and to know that when he returns, he will come for you as your friend, your Lord, your King and your Saviour and not as your judge, sentencing you to that awful eternity of the lost, but rather to take you home with him. If you mean business with God, please just follow me in this simple prayer, but only if you really mean it, okay? Please say this after me. Lord Jesus, I don't understand everything about the Bible, but I believe you died on the cross for me. And I believe that when you died, you took my punishment. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Change me from this day on. Lord, I receive you now into my heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. I look forward to the day I see you face to face. Please help me to follow you from this day on. For I ask it in your name. Amen. Present day events in Israel are pointing to an acceleration of prophetic fulfillment. The Bible warns us Antichrist will come in the last days and desecrate a newly built temple in Jerusalem. Did you know many leading Muslims are now calling for a temple to be built on the Temple Mount and they are calling it a house of prayer for all nations? Did you know the architectural plans for such a temple have already been prepared? Did you know Israel recently elected the very first high priest in 2000 years ready for the coming temple? The priests are in training, ready to enter the temple. But has the Ark of the Covenant been discovered? in recent years and has it been left hidden ready for when the temple is built? Did you know the revived Jewish Sanhedrin recently visited Turkey to discuss the rebuilding of the temple and the coming of the Messiah who they say is very much like the Islamic Mahdi, the Islamic Messiah? Did you know the former head of the Temple Institute in Jerusalem, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, also paid a visit to Turkey to discuss the coming temple just before he was called to be a member of the Knesset, Israel's parliament? And concerning the last days, did the prophet Daniel and the church fathers leave us a clue regarding not only the Antichrist's area of origin, but also a clue to the identity of the foreign god 
Daniel says he will honour. Friends, the time of the end may be much closer than many would like to believe. Who knows what the coming days will bring? Time is short, my friends. All history will finally come together with the fulfillment of the ultimate prophecy, the return of the Messiah, Yeshua. So heads up, watch the Middle East, because that is where it will all come to pass in the days and the years ahead. God bless you.